John chapter 16, 16 says this, In just a little while I will be gone, and you won't see me anymore. Then just a little while after that you will see me again. The disciples asked each other, What does he mean when he says, You won't see me, and then you will see me? And what does he mean when he says, I am going to the Father? What does he mean by a little while? We don't understand. Jesus realized they wanted to ask him, so he said, Are you asking yourselves what I meant? In just a little while I will be gone and you won't see me anymore. Then just a little while after that you will see me again. Truly you will weep and mourn over what is going to happen to me, but the world will rejoice. You will grieve, but your grief will suddenly turn to wonderful joy when you see me again. It will be like a woman experiencing the pains of labor. When her child is born, her anguish gives place to joy because she has brought a new person into the world. You have sorrow now, but I will see you again. Then you will rejoice, and no one can rob you of that joy. At that time, you won't need to ask me anything, for the truth is, you can go directly to the Father and ask Him, and He will grant you your request because you use my name. You haven't done this before. Ask using my name and you will receive, and you will have abundant joy. I have spoken of these things in parables, but the time will come when this will not be necessary. I will tell you plainly all about the Father. Then you will ask in my name. I am not saying I will ask the Father on your behalf, for the Father himself loves you dearly because you love me and believe that I came from God. Yes, I came from the Father into the world, and I will leave the world and return to the Father. Then the disciples said, At last you are speaking plainly and not in parables. Now we understand that you know everything, and you don't need anyone to tell you anything. From this we believe that you came from God. Jesus asked, Do you finally believe? The time is coming. In fact, it is already here when you will be scattered, each one going his own way, leaving me alone. Yet I am not alone because the Father is with me. I have told you all this so that you may have peace in me. Here on earth you will have many trials and sorrows, but take heart, I have overcome the world. What Jesus is explaining to his disciples is a really emotional moment because he's telling basically his best friends that he's about to die. He's about to be crucified and, and they're not going to see him for a little while, but then he's going to come back and they're going to see him as resurrected as we see later in the book of John. And it's amazing. And Jesus is saying that it's like a woman in childbirth, that there's sorrow right now when they see him crucified. It, it's that pain, that labor pain. But once that gives birth to the resurrection, to eternal life, and to hope and salvation for all who believe that makes the pain worth it. And so Jesus is saying, there's going to come a pain that I'm going to have to go through, but it's going to be worth it because what's going to be produced after that? That's why Hebrews 12 is so key. It says that for the joy set before him, Jesus endured the cross. He despised the shame. He seated at the right hand of God. It was joy that caused Jesus to go to the cross because he knew in going to the cross, he would bring many sons to glory. Jesus also teaches them of the privilege they have in prayer. It says, it says, the truth is, you can go directly to the Father through my name. Once Jesus died, he becomes, he lives in us through Holy Spirit, and now he intercedes for us. So now we have the privilege of praying in Jesus' name and receiving from God the Father in a new way through prayer. Jesus also gave us a key. He said, I have told you all this so you may have peace. Here on earth you will have trials and sorrows, but take heart, I have overcome the world. In this earth, in this planet, we're going to have trials, temptation, tests. We're going to have pains. We're going to have hardship. But God says, take heart because Jesus has overcome the world. And through Christ, 1 John 5 says, through Christ, we have victory in his name.